better than Fox because, you know, Fox is able to maneuver around. He's got that airspeed. Right. He's been getting results. But more recently, people have been picking up that Wolf and showing off exactly what he can do. Yeah, I think I'm of the opinion that Wolf is a bit better, but this matchup is just very, you know, very up in the air. A lot of people say that Wolf wins. A lot of people say that Fox wins. Even more people say that it's even, but... Not to see how it works out. We've got Charlie versus Sir. I have a bit of data to go off here. Charlie sticking with the wolf, one of the flashiest pun intended wolves in SoCal in a land full of many. Yeah, he's gonna go ahead and both of them are trading out these aerials right now looking for an opportunity, but Zerk finds first blood with this, finds the first hit, and here come the up tilt chains reversing out the hits knowing that he's gotta do it just so he can get a little more, but a great parry himself, and Charlie struggling to find a way to fight back. Yeah, interesting, finally gets this fair string going, and with an F tilt to finish it off. Doesn't two frame with a down smash that might have killed at that low percent. Fox is, of course, one of the lightest characters in the game. And he's live, he's got that false speed to back up on. And here comes the up throw. He uses the shine to stall it out. So Charlie doing a really good job already. He ate all that percent. And he's just like, yeah, you had your fun. Now it's my turn to stack up all these aerials. And he's gonna go ahead and use his up B to get back onto the stage, but Zurak struggling to find, it's actually this time, he's the one who's struggling to find a way, but the up smash, he read the roll. Yeah, this time he got it out of shield instead of chasing it down, and now Zurek gets the lead, the unranked player up on the number nine, Charlie the King. Definitely pointing some trouble right now in the back here, wasn't the sweet spot, so unable to take the stock. And here comes the two frame, unable to find it. Another F tilt, this time in the opposite direction, won't do it. Zurek is just jumping, perhaps throwing out empty options, but the Nair will get him. And that up special, not well advised. If he landed on top of the platform, that's gonna be easy for Zark to sniff out. But a great up tilt in, great parry into up tilt will take the stock. Zurak, he's unable to get those low percentage combos down, but he's still able to get those follow ups. Definitely just using that throw to get him at that 100%, knowing that a quick falling Nair into an up smash should kill, but Charlie fighting back with so much percent already. He knew that Zurak likes to go for these aerials to land, so he simply just shields it out. Yeah, two consecutive up throw combos will almost even up the percents, but before that happened, Zurak was able to register a few more hits. Now another up throw, not into anything in particular, but that reverse nair from Charlie was a bit too early. The illusion was in the right place, just at the wrong time. Yeah, he's got to be careful because not only is Charlie reading it out, Zurek's using his shine to stall out his landing, and it's going to punish him some way if he doesn't get too linear about it, but a great aerial into the up smash. Zurek takes stock. Number two, but 88% on him if Charlie's able to get an early stock of his own, but he's getting juggled up in the meantime, but the up smash actually was able to kill because he was on the platform. It was a very early percent, sub 100. Zurek perhaps not used to losing stocks that early to a wolf up smash, but if he gets himself into that type of a situation, might have to get used to it. Good landing fair from Charlie. Mm -hmm. Sam's got these aerials off, and here it comes. Great parry from Zurich. He knows that Charlie loves to land with that Nair. It's one of Wolf's best moves, and he misses the back air, actually. So Zurek in an advantage right now. Both of them just throwing out these aerials against each other's shield, looking exactly like a mirror matchup. But this time, Charlie gets ahead of it, and he almost goes for the back air, but the Shine actually was able to stall it out, and the F smash, Charlie was facing the wrong way. Now gets back to stage with the Wolf, uh, with that up special, but almost got the up smash through the platform. Now Zurich is a bit, oh, he read the tech, but didn't throw out the option in time, and now Charlie is gonna be, have to be very careful. That was God given a great Tomaki. He almost caught out the jump. He knew it was coming, but Zurak is going to get away with it and including the up smash as well. He knew that he couldn't punish it in a great parry, but no up smash out of that one. That's going to be a bad choice. And here come the back airs, but Charlie is able to get right through it. Can he get the two frame? Not just yet, but he surely will get the F tilt. Won't kill Zurak just yet either, but he can't get it the second time and the down tilt forces him off. Remember, when you're at higher percents, you don't get that same ledge vulnerability. Yeah, it's that, invul that invulnerability just wearing off, and that down tilt will send him at such an awkward angle. You could tell he could have survived with a bit better DI, but I don't know if he would have had the illusion and the vertical levels to make it back, even with that jump conserved. Charlie is going to send it to 1-0 on Zurak. Yeah, it seemed a lot favor of Zurak right now, and currently he's in uh, he's in a decision right now, and he's going to counterpick to Megalovania. He knows exactly what's going on. Charlie <laughs> tilting his head back. I mean, that's, I remember Esam won on the Megalovania counterpick. He did. Of course, who says the music doesn't matter? If it, if it gets you 
feel in a certain type of way, then who am I to counterpick? Maybe he just wants to have Charlie having a bad time. Yeah, that was pretty good. Don't, don't look at me. Don't look at me Why? like that. No, don't look at me like that. Okay. Now you know it was pretty good. On to game two. Charlie the King sticking with the wolf. Zurak sticking with the fox. Another cannon matchup here. Zurak is going to land with the air, but ill advised. And now a couple of up airs and a nair will put him at 55% early combos for Charlie. Mm -hmm. And I like this decision making from Zurak. Oh, the back part of the down smash caught him out for a little bit. Okay, like I was saying earlier, I like the fact that Zurak acknowledges the fact that Charlie loves to go for these aerials, but Charlie himself adapts to that one, and instead of just going for Tomahawk, instead of just going for a straight grab, he actually shields out the up tilt that Zurich throws out for the anti-air, and the back air, the sweet spot lands, but no kill just yet. Two, oh, does not two frame with the down smash, but good parry into the up tilt will send him to the other direction. And now, interrupted him as he wanted to get that up smash going. Nice. Actually gonna find his way out of that one, thankfully out of this vantage state, but it was actually Zurich's back air that sends Charlie off. But the up smash, he read the fact that Charlie was going to go for a run up short hop Nair. But this time he caught it up, but Charlie strikes back with a stock of his own. Yeah, that narrow hitbox with the up tilt absolutely packs a punch. And now Zurak has to play this once again at even percents and just falls once again victim to these up air strings. And here we go. He's in a Nair once again. Zurak struggling to find an answer at 54% himself. And he gets the wolf flash combo. Not exactly the sweet spot. He went for the two frame once more, but has been unable to find them in this game. Now Charlie facing backwards, you can tell he wants a sweet spot there, but... Yep, read the roll perfectly display right now, and Zurak, instead of using a shine to stall, does go for the jump. It's a little bit of panic, but you can't use up tilt that close, and that's going to be an easy up smash. Charlie with a commanding lead. Charlie absolutely has the momentum on his side now, and with a quick fare into the down throw, he's going to be continuing to put on the pressure and damage. Not too much more he has to do until this game is over. Look at these aerials. These fairs are just clawing away at Zurek's percentages. And I love those empty hops coming in from Charlie. He's forcing out these horrible options from Zurek, but he catches out the jump instead. Here it comes once more. The up air chance that Zurek desperately needs in order to try to come back with the B reversal. He went for the wolf flash. Calm down, Charlie, on that one. Yeah, feeling himself after getting the bayonet hitbox of the blaster, but very ill-advised. Zurek didn't even move, and now Charlie has to play this on the last stock. Mm, he's looking for a two frame. Uh, he's not able to find it just yet, but I bet you it's going to hit when it truly matters. But the down air from Zurek actually catching out a little bit of percentages that he needs. And here comes the Nair once more. And gets the up smash to finish it off. Charlie the King showing why he is one of the foremost wolves in Southern California. Can't let you do that, Star Fox. He actually quoted him on actually on top. That's, that's pretty impressive. But Charlie. Taking it to, oh, right over him. It seemed, it seemed really even at first with Zurich in game number one. It just